Hello guys, this is going to be a longer video in which we're going to explain how to install and configure the GooseX bot and explain the basics of the interface. As you can see, we'll start on the GooseX Discord in the updates channel. Here you can go to the download page directly from Tractor's post. So let's click the link. We'll immediately see the latest version, which is 1.12 in this case. You can download it here by clicking the download link and we'll see a point .rar file, which can be unzipped with WinRAR or 7-zip for example. After downloading the file, we're going to unzip it. There we go. The first two folders will be the most important ones. The DB folder contains your database with the, feature, with the history of your trades. The JSON folder contains your config file. So when upgrading the bot later, these will be the folders you want to keep and copy to the newest version. But first things first, let's start the bot by executing the GZ bot max file. We'll start by going over the general settings. Note that each setting is briefly explained on the page itself. The dashboard username and password are the credentials we'll be using to log into the bot itself. For the password, I'm just going to use goose123, but remember this is an example, so please use a safer password than this. Thank you. The server port can be whatever you prefer, as long as it's an unused port on the host that's running the bot, like a PC, server, VPS, or anything you prefer. The API key and the API secret are the keys we generated on Bybit in the previous video. So we'll log in to Bybit and copy them from the API management page. First, we'll copy the key. And then the private key. And finally, we'll choose the exchange, which is the exchange on which we'd like the bot to trade, which is Bybit in this case. Finally, we're going to tweak some settings concerning the trading itself. These settings can be configured the way you prefer it, but I'll just use the settings I'm using at the moment. The strategy we're choosing is actually the time frame we're going to use for trades with the GooseX bot. I'm almost always using 10% of my balance myself, combined with a leverage of 10. I'll be using 4% as a take profit and 22% as a stop loss. This would mean that the dynamic trading will be activated automatically when the 4% has been reached. Dynamic trading will be 35% here. I'll be setting both long positions and short positions to yes, which would mean that my bot can take both long and short trades. The weight candle close is a very important and delicate one, mind the warning in the red. This means that the trade will only be opened once the 15 minute candle is fully closed, so there is definitely a trade signal for sure. With all the reverse, the bot will automatically switch from short to long or long to short where the bull or a bear signal has been printed while the trade in the opposite direction is still open. I always set override manual to no, so my bot won't close my manually open trades by itself. And after all that is done, we can safely click submit. The bot will close itself automatically, so let's launch it so we can start exploring what the bot has to offer. If all is right, the bot will work flawlessly, but I'll show you this error on purpose. Know that, we you see this notification saying wrong password or username, either you typed username or password wrong effectively, or it means that your license isn't active yet. If that's the case, be sure to contact one of our developers on Discord so they can fix it for you. After that, we log in to get the main interface of the beloved GooseBot. There we are. As you can see, there's a clean interface for you. On the top, you can see the total current value, so how much is currently on my Bybit account. This would be the profit we made today. And we can also see the profit we made yesterday and the last month's profit in total. To the left, we see the navigation menu. The first button is the position button. That's the page we are on now, where we can see our open positions if there are any. And the next one will be the manual buy page, where we can open longs or shorts manually. Note that the trades will be opened with the settings that you have pre-configured. In the sales log, we can find the trades we took in the past. Whether they were automatic or manual, they'll all be there. 
there aren't any trades at the moment, so let's open one for a minute so we can show you what it looks like. So let's go to the position page. What we can see here is the trade we just opened. Directly after opening it, you'll most likely be in a small loss because fees are fully included in the trade from the start. In the first column, we can see the date and the time when the trade was opened. The symbol is the trading pair we're trading, which is the Bitcoin USD pair on Bybit in this case. Next we can see at which price we entered the trade, and the price that our trading pair is at now. The order value shows us how much Bitcoin the order is worth. The quantity is the amount of contracts in Bybit, and the profit, or the loss, is shown on the next column. Profit will always be in green and loss will be in red. The sell trigger price is the price at which the dynamic trading will start trading. When trading, the trigger column will show us the progress of the trail. Finally, there is a stop loss price, and depending on the SL percentage we used in the configuration, it may vary. The fee is the fee we're paying to buy bit to take the trade. And finally, in the action column, we can choose to close the position immediately at the current market price or edit the trade. When choosing edit, we can edit the settings of the open position, like the take profit, the stop loss, the trailing, the sell trigger price, and so on. But let's manually close the trade now, so we can see what the result looks like on the sales log page. As you can see, here are the detailed results of the last trades. Note that, in the date column, the time has changed to when the trade was closed, and no longer shows when it was opened. The configuration page shows the current config, so that's the one we just configured in the pre-setup. You can change your configuration here anytime. Again, you can see all the settings we saw in the pre-setup, like the credentials, the API, the TP, SL, dynamic trading, and so on. The license page shows you if your current license is still active, and you'll also notice several buttons to extend your subscription. But for now, the function of these buttons has yet to be implemented. The chat live button will redirect you to our Discord server, and the wiki page will send you to a web page with all the info you need for configuring the GooseX bot. We hope you enjoyed the video. For further questions, feel free to contact any of the crew members on Discord. Please use the referral link for GooseX for a 15 days free trial of the bot, and the affiliation link for Bybit so you can enjoy discount fees. You can find both of them in the video description. Thank you for watching. Bye.